Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and uh, I'm back home, as you can see I'm home for Christmas, um, back in the old setting for those of you who used to be around the channel uh, before kind of August time and I've just finished a uh, stream, a nice long sort of four hour stream where we played some Rocket League and, and Undertale and during the stream there was some uh, really disturbing news that came out and it was a Carrie Fisher, uh, you'll know her plays Princess Leia, um, had suffered cardiac arrest whilst on a flight from London to Los Angeles, you know, just before landing. And at the time, you know, it was uncertain as to what condition she was in. And uh, thankfully now she's in a stable condition in hospital. Um, so she seems to be out of danger, which, you know, is great. And... You know, I just wanted to just take a few minutes just to really talk about what was going through my mind and, and you know, really just trying to, I don't know, just kind of dissect it in a way because I was getting really bad flashbacks to, you know, like when Michael Jackson suffered cardiac arrest in 2009 and he died, you know, because there's a big difference between having a heart attack and suffering cardiac arrest. Um, cardiac arrest is where your heart stops beating because of electrical problems um you know it can be completely random it can happen to anyone obviously if there's pre-existing conditions or you know if you are unhealthy then you may be more susceptible to it but it is different to a heart attack which is um where the blood flow to the heart is restricted and the muscle in the heart starts dying you know with a heart attack the symptoms can come on suddenly or they can come on gradually and there's a much better outlook with cardiac arrest it's pretty much instant you know the person just passes out and that's it really whether they survive can be down to a number of things you know from genetics to how quickly they receive medical assistance you know to just seemingly blind luck and again i feared the worst when you know someone came into the chat and said oh did you hear about kerry fisher and, you know, I was thinking, God, what's happened now? Has she spoken more about, you know, the affairs that she was having? As she said, she's not doing Star Wars 9. You know, what's going on? And, um, you know, I read the story and I was like, crap. You know, 2016 has been a bad year for, like, celebrity deaths and that. Um, and this would just be the worst way to end it, you know. Just bef basically Christmas Eve, um, you know, to lose one of the the giants of the Star Wars world. And um, it was weird because yesterday, and I don't know why I was thinking this, but I was uh, yesterday I was just sitting down and thinking back to the Force Awakens premiere from last year and how that was the last time that all of the Star Wars originals were together because Kenny Baker passed away earlier this year. You know, and how if I could go back, you know, and make them all aware that, you know, this is the last time that, you know, you'll all be together, um, you know, as an original group, whether, you know, that would change anything, whether they would, and I don't know, it was just, it was a very weird moment, I was just sitting there thinking, God, what if it had been someone else, you know, thinking about how old they are, you know, Peter Mayhew is getting on and, you know, Harrison Ford's in his you know, almost mid-70s, um, I was thinking to myself, well, you know, at least Kerry Fisher's quite young, as well as Mark Hamill. You know, Mark Hamill's in his mid sixties. Kerry's just turned sixty. Um, you know, so that's comparatively young compared to the others. So I was thinking, well, you know, I was thinking, and it's quite a morbid thought, but I was sitting there thinking, I wonder who the next one to go would be. And I was thinking to myself, well, look, I'm pretty certain that Mark and Carrie are safe because they're the youngest. You know. And uh, I was just going for this morbid thing in my head of, God, you know, I, I think it, it kind of gets to everyone when you get to a certain point in life where you realise that, you know, your heroes are getting old and they're dying. And so I had that moment yesterday, but for it to, for me to have been thinking about that yesterday and then for her to have a heart attack today or a cardiac arrest, um, you know, again, people say heart attack, but it's actually cardiac arrest, um, was just very chilling and very... Um, freaky but again having finished the stream you know the news broke that she's in a stable condition so 
you know, it's a horrible time for it to happen because she's now more than likely going to be spending hospital and Christmas. Hospital and Christmas. She's going to be spending Christmas in hospital. God. You can tell it's well past midnight. And, um, yeah, I don't don't know. It's just I feel really bad for her. But I'm so glad that she's out of danger, you know, because she is... um, She's such a funny woman. She she was on a few programs this week here in the UK, eight out of ten cats, and the humour that she's got is just so brilliant. You know, she's one of a kind. And um you know, I would certainly hope that this is just a one off thing that, you know, was completely random and you know, thankfully she was in the right hands. You know, she had someone there performing CPR on her for the whole kind of, you know, ten minutes whilst the flight landed. Um but you know you do kind of have to think maybe some of her history of drink and drugs maybe had an effect because you know substance abuse can cause you know issues with the heart but hopefully not hopefully it was just a random thing and you know she can recover and it'll all get better you know and she can be around for star wars 9 you know i'm looking forward to seeing star wars episode 8 you know so that'd be cool but yeah i just thought i'd make a quick video just to some of my thoughts on it because it is really it's really sad and, and kind of horrifying in a way but I guess it's something that everyone has to get used to when they grow up you know the heroes your heroes die you know whether your heroes are celebrities parents friends you know it's an unfortunate fact of life um and I don't know maybe talking to the camera helps sometimes you know talking to you guys helps so yeah, I'm sure that we'll all send her, you know, our well wishes um, to Carrie, and uh, you know, hopefully they'll be able to salvage Christmas and and have an enjoyable one wherever it's spent. Um, but yes, I doubt Carrie's ever going to see this. But if you are, we're thinking of you. May the force be with you, and uh, have a merry Christmas.